If it isn't already on your bucket list, now is the time to add it. Welcome to Travel Range, and today we're counting down our top 10 reasons to visit Latvia. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to Travel Range and ring the bell to be notified when we upload new videos for this list. Some of the most compelling reasons to visit this Baltic state. The 10th nation Rosna Lake Latvia is a country rich in natural beauty, and nowhere is there more evident than at Lake Rosna. This body of water is extremely valuable. In 2007, an entire national park was established with the express purpose of protecting it, which is often referred to as a jewel of eastern Latvia. Rosna National Park is located in La Hoya, an area so abundant in lakes that it has been dubbed the Land of Blue Lakes. Despite the fact that it faces stiff competition, Lake Rosna succeeds in standing out because of its impressive size. It is even sometimes referred to as the Sea of Luck. All the way across the country on its western shore lies the delightful small village of Yorkana. While the village itself makes for a perfect destination for a quaint little getaway, the real reason you're here is the shoreline. The Yokan of Bluffs will simply take your breath away. A picturesque seashore, Yokal is now largely untouched, with the only significant human impact in the area being people who come here to camp and appreciate its natural glory atop the bluffs, some of which can reach upwards of 65 feet in height. Majestic pine trees grow many of them, with their roots exposed come here and pitch a tent atop the bluffs to enjoy a Baltic sunset as unlike any other. Number 8. I'd loan a basilica whether you're drawn to houses of worship or not. Everyone can appreciate the architecture and the Aglo's rich history, in addition to being the most culturally important Catholic church in the country. Nova Silica, also known as the Basilica of the Assumption, also serves as a spending center. In keeping with the style, an example of late Baroque architecture. The interior of Basilica is sumptuously decorated and distinguished by the use of columns, cross vaults, and arches. Just make sure to check the calendar before you visit on certain days of religious celebration, as it has been known to draw up to 25,000 people. Number 7. Large crowds are expected at the Song and Dance Festival. There is no other gathering in Latvia that is larger than this one, which is a celebration of traditional Latvian culture. The Song and Dance Festival dates back to the early 19th century and is held approximately every five years. So you'll want to check the schedule before booking your trip to make sure the two line up well. It might seem a bit crazy to be planning your vacation around something that occurs so infrequently. Trust us when we say that the Song and Dance Festival makes for an utterly unique cultural experience on an average festival year. 40,000 participants, not spectators, and Latvian Youth Song and Dance Festival is scheduled on an alternating five-year cycle. But there are only two and a half years between celebrations. Guyan National Park is ranked sixth, as evidenced by its four national parks, 42 nature parks and 260 nature reserves. Latvia is a country that clearly prioritizes protecting its green spaces reserves, as well as other areas that fall into various preservation categories. When all is said and done, a full one-fifth of the country has been designated protected land. Each national park has something unique to offer, but if you only have time to visit one, make it this one. It is located northeast of Riga. Gaia is not only home to 900 plant species, 149 bird species, and dozens of mammals, but it is also a home to 500 monuments and cultural relics, including castles and ruins. Number 5. Cape Kulka Like the tip of a spear dramatically pierces the Baltic sea waters, Cape Kulka is the westernmost point of the Gulf of Riga. Here, you'll find a village with the same name as a cape as well as a lighthouse but it's the beach that's most interesting. Cape Kulka Beach is one of the world's most underappreciated and overlooked destinations. The average temperature is definitely on the cool side, but it's wonderfully remote and breathtakingly beautiful. 
If you're up for an adventure, you can also go visit a number of Livonian settlements such as Sonic Speech Dogs and Vida, which doubt the Baltic shoreline of the larger Kulka Parish number. For food, get ready for a good eat because of the climate Latvian cuisine is very seasonal and hearty, hence cues towards staples like potatoes, cabbage, barley, and eggs. And given how distinct each season is, don't forget to try carbonara, a pork cutlet similar to schnitzel. Latvia's capital is Riga. Riga has also developed a reputation as a foodie destination as well as a restaurant hub. If you come in the spring, try a glass or two of Birch Sap No. 3 Now Gout Pills located in southeastern Latvia. Dalgo Pils is the country's second largest city, located close to the neighboring nations of Belarus. Lithuania and Russia have the most influence of the three. Despite being the farthest away, as you probably already know, the geographical history of the Baltics is rather messy. The city known today as Dalgo Pils was previously known as Dina Buk and was previously part of the Russian Empire. Though Luffy had gained independence from the latter in 1918, the population of Dugout Pils to this day remains overwhelmingly Russian-speaking in no small part due to its complicated history. Alcohol Pils boasts a beautiful historic center and a fortress. Number 2. Stasis Castle Of the many castles and ruins that taught Latvia, is landscape says castle, arguably the most impressive and interesting to visit, not only because of its history, but also because it is the best preserved. Its foundation dates back to the early 13th century and is considered a Baltic city. Must see it bears the distinction of having been under siege by none other than Ivan. The terrible, the structure has weathered and many attacks and taken a fair amount of damage over the years. But each ugly chapter only adds to its historical importance and the fascination surrounding it. Number 1. Riga is without a doubt. The most important reason to visit Latvia. As previously stated, its vibrant food scene does not disappoint. But the biggest highlight of any trip to Latvia is the countryside. Riga has to be the city's historical center. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it has some truly inspiring architecture, including Art Nouveau buildings and 19th century wooden construction style, as well as charming streets full of colorful little homes and storefronts. And then there's the incredible church. Inspires in Riga tradition and modern lifestyle trends merge in a unique fashion they must be experienced firsthand to fully appreciate. Do you agree with our selections? Check out this other recent travel range video. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our new videos.